Samsung's new Galaxy Gear smartwatch is the company's latest attempt at a wearable device. A companion to the new Galaxy Note 3 with a 1.63 inch 320x320 Super AMOLED touchscreen for your wrist. Packing a 1.9 megapixel autofocus camera with full HD video recording and macro mode, twin microphones with noise cancellation and a speaker built into the adjustable clasp, the Galaxy Gear connects via Bluetooth LE to the Note 3 and works as a speakerphone and more. The UI is controlled predominantly with gestures, with a downward swipe summoning the camera. That can snap still images, or up to 10 second video clips, which are synchronised with your phone but can also be shared directly from the Galaxy Gear. Swiping down to quit, and then side swiping, takes you through the app carousel, where you can access your Note 3 contacts and see a log of everything that's happened in messaging, calls and other communication. A companion app on the phone is used to manage notifications and install the mini apps the Galaxy Gear can run. One of the initial use cases Samsung envisages for the Galaxy Gear is as a fitness and health tracker. The smartwatch will run a pedometer app out of the box, which can track movement and report it to Samsung's own S-Health app. However, there will also be multiple third-party apps, like RunKeeper, that also have Galaxy Gear support. As a phone accessory, the Gear can start a call by swiping up for the dialer. The number keys are relatively small, but still usable. As with any notification, you can easily pass the call over to your Galaxy Note 3. If you're looking at a text or email alert, for instance, picking up your Note 3 automatically opens the same message on phone. The Galaxy Gear also records voice memos, with each recording up to 5 minutes in length. They are automatically transcribed using voice-to-text technology too, and saved on the phone. Samsung uses S-Voice, its voice command system, for other interactions, and you can dictate replies to messages as well as set alarms. They're not search online or get navigation instructions, at least initially. The Gallery app synchronises with the Note 3 Gallery, showing photos and video from both the phone and the smartwatch. You can play videos, as well as view images, complete with somewhat fiddly pinch zoom. The camera's macro mode should make it useful for quickly snapping images of receipts and other text, with the ability to save those shots directly to Evernote. Samsung says the Galaxy Gear's 315mAh battery, which recharges using a snap-on cradle, should last for a full day of regular use. That will of course depend on how many of the media features you use. Initially, only the Note 3 will work with the Galaxy Gear, though Samsung tells us it hopes to add access to other Galaxy products soon. There's a music remote for controlling the media player on the Note 3, though the Galaxy Gear lacks a native MP3 player of its own. Meanwhile, the short-range support of Bluetooth LE means you can set the gear to unlock your Note 3 when it's within 5 feet. There's also a Find My Phone feature, which can ring the Note 3 from the watch, or vice versa from the app though that works at a greater distance. The Galaxy Gear will go on sale in six different colours, each with a sapphire glass display, though Samsung has yet to confirm any pricing or specific availability.